Hi, I'm Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'll explain how to list all column names of a data frame but one using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of our studio which is called data and if you click on this data object you can see that a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data and as you can see our data frame contains four rows and three columns with the column names x1, x2 and x3. Now let's assume that we want to create a list with all column names of our data frame but the column name x2 should not be shown in this list. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 6 and in this line of code I am first applying the call names function to our data frame, then I am opening square brackets and then I am applying the call names function again to specify that I want to show all column names but the column name x2. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called list names. So if you run line six of the code, you can see that a new data object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called list names. And we can also print this data object to the RStudio console by running line seven of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a vector of character strings these character strings represent the names of our column names, but the second column x2 is not contained in this vector. If we want, we can now also use this vector to subset our data frame as I'm showing in the next example of this video in line nine of the code. And in this line of code, I'm using our list of names to return only the first and the third columns of our data frame to a new data frame which is called data new. So if you run this line of code you can see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio which is called data new and if you click on this data frame you can see that we have created a subset of our data frame where we have selected only the first and the third columns of our data. So in this video I have explained how to list all column names but one in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.